Alright, since a video of mine was uh, removed by copyright whores and shit, I'm just going to do another no play for you guys and gals. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Uh, who the hell is banging on the door? The note man or whoever they need shaking the fucking house. Damn. Dr. Franken 2 on the Game Boy. I just decided, you know, let's, if we're going to fill in anything uh, of a lost space, since Shogaku Khan decided to claim that me doing commentary on something I never claimed was mine, although they uh, do these implicit bullshit claims, that, yeah, they uh, basically uh, don't want me doing commentary, which apparently they don't want or something. I don't know why. But anyway, you're going to get something better. You're going to need commenting on, commenting on stuff. Frankenstein Jr., or whoever he is, gets some matches there. You don't really know what you can kill and what you can't kill. Especially, I, well, I mean, it might be obvious. I can't destroy ghosts with this. And, uh, but I don't know what the hell he's doing. Did he shoot down a key blast or something right out of Dragon Ball Z? And these stairs are frustrating as shit. It's like a predator in NES. You just pass right through the fucking thing. There's no Castlevania-ass just going up the goddamn things. But I have to fucking walk up each, jump each up each one individually. What the hell are those things? Some of this stuff makes sense. I mean, there are bees, and there were, there's dogs. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that makes some sense, and there's a lot of stuff that makes little sense. And of course, I have no idea why birds are attacking me. What the fuck are these things? Flying lizards? Yeesh, this is bizarre, but I know it's supposed to be kind of a freaking stuff. Guys with keys? This is just wow. This isn't. I don't even get as far as I did in Doctor Franken. Why should I get further than I did in Doctor Franken on Game Boy? I get about six percent complete. I only got four percent complete before I bit the dust twice. But completion in this game apparently is uh, founded upon a much bigger storyline and a much more expansive world to go through. You can go to a garden, a village, to the sea. To this chateau where some assholes banging on the door. I don't know what the storyline is based on. They just throw you right into this. At least a bubble door, aren't you? If you can get hurt by a fucking potted plant, what the fuck is up with that? Ugh. Anyway, we keep going despite some monster who doesn't have anything on his body but his tongue and his eyes, and he's hopping on the toilet. That was weird. He was hopping on the toilet. And again, the same problem that played the other game, I don't know how many hits I can take, and I don't know if certain monsters do more damage or less. And, well, basically, you know, you just die at fucking random. You might as well just be as careful as all fucking hell to make sure you don't die. Basically. Because you could be doing it great, and then you just get hit. Because you don't know how a fucking life bar works, and you die. Now, in theory, you could use a password, but they don't seem to actually give you a fucking password. But I'll check at the end of this, because I think they might actually give you a password when you've gotten to a certain point. So I can just enter it at 6%. Woohoo, I don't want to play this game again. I can tell you that much. Bouncing eyeballs? I'll look over there again, but I can't. Now we're getting attacked by birds, and these dudes with the... Uh, they're wind-up soldiers, actually, I think. But there was, like, an eyeball bouncing on a spring, and I'm dead. At least you get extra lives. I mean, that's a improvement from the last game. It's pretty much a puzzle game to be able to find these keys to unlock doors. I only found one, and I don't fucking know where the back door is, because they don't even give you a map. They just say, entering the chateau. Not a door. Eh. What the hell are those things? It's like twisted cherubs or something. I don't know. This is fucked up. Now, let's go back and. No, I keep service telling them these giant hands. You can't get anywhere in this game, I'll tell you that much. I mean, you'd be lucky to find the front fucking door. Or the uh, back door, actually, is what you're looking for, I believe. 
Look at it. It's a eyeball in a spring. It would be nice to actually... Fo yeah, this is interesting. I can turn off every one of the sounds. You'll notice it just vaguely that it goes virtually silent for a while. And then I actually decide, hey, I'm getting bored of this, so let's actually... Go back and fix that little problem. And at least keep the music in there. So I think the, the other two are just um, sounds for enemies and you, respectively. But then you have the music, which the music is not bad. I would have. No one actually. Uh, I didn't put that in the description. They're playing the Moonlight Sonata. Um, but in this one, it's more upbeat, kind of, but it's also kind of creepy at the same time. It's supposed to be. But, how much to say? Basically, just. Ah, and look. I'm dead again. And at least I don't crumble into bones. I just disappear in four directions for some reason. Mangot, worm. Hey, it's you. Weren't you, on the, weren't you taking a shit earlier? Nope. I don't know what the fuck I can do. This is a room that seemingly has no, uh, purpose unless I can kill those things, which might give me something. Evil hands, again, trying to funnel me. And again, with the stair problem. I just can't em emphasize that enough. Look at it. Look. Look at it. You can just barely jump. I mean, but you can jump pretty far, to say the least. I keep forgetting. I mean, there's virtually 90% of the doors locked. I think this is where I get out of here. Stupid dog. And... This is like the cellar, I guess, or something. This is an exit. This is... I don't know what the fuck this is. What the... Laundry... Oh, shoot. And then... You get a really weird moment. The tree is locked. That's what it looks like. I know it's probably the door into the forest or something like that, but the tree is apparently locked according to the bad graphical uh, issues in the game. I think this is the back door. The moat, whatever. 1873, that's lovely. Do they have umbrellas in 1873? Apparently, yeah. Just when Frankenstein was uh, much earlier. Look how fucking slow the text moves. And why does that have to be going like a fucking ticker tape shit? Just have these patches of text. Don't have the text be scrolling along like it's on one long stream. Makes no sense. I can't get the damn kid either. And look how big that fucking cat is. It's half the size of the woman. It's, it's probably actually as big as the damn woman. What a fucking... Badass cat, jeez. Like I said, you can go to the sea. I think by this point, I was just saying, I want to die. This is pathetic. I want to just kill myself. Euthanize me, cat. Euthanize me, old lady with an umbrella. Just shove that thing up my ass and funnel out my organs and disembowel me. Ugh, I know, a little graphic there, but. Jeez, this is fucking terrible. You can't get in the garden yet because... There's a giant ass dog and I can't show you because it seems like you push anything. You push a D button, you push A or B, which doesn't do anything, but if you push start or the directional button, it stops it. What does this dog remind me of? Remind you of? It looks like that one of those fucking Muppets. I want to be fed. Yeah, fuck you. You can go ahead and starve. Douchebag. We're almost dead, too. And there we go. And I think they give you a... Oh, no. They don't seem to even give me a password. I guess that might be Frankie. But it makes so little sense. I think this was just me, uh... I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I was just kind of stopping on me. Anyway, this is the end of the, uh, Dr. Franken 2 no play. Hope everybody enjoyed it. And I hope this uh, fills up the space that was left by the Pokemon commentary video that was removed. Although I have a feeling no one actually got to download it like they usually do with YouTube fans. Anyway, see you later.